Hey guys, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today, here once again with Rich Butler from Rageworks. Rich, how's it going today? What's going on guys? Matt, as always, thank you for the opportunity to let me uh, open up some toys with you today. Absolutely, we're back. So last time Rich was here, we did the Mass Effect toys from Titan Merchandise. Today we're continuing our big blind bag box unboxing with some more Titan Merchandise toys. This time we have Dragon Age. Yep. So this is a game I'm actually not super familiar with. I, I just started actually getting into it a little bit, but it is again kind of similar to Mass Effect in that it's a very, very intensive kind of game where once you Absolutely. devote yourself to it, it should be the only thing you play until you finish it. Pretty much. I mean, you know, it's another one of those uh, very well-received RPGs that was put out by BioWare and EA. Uh, everybody loves it. Two game, two additional games came after dra the first Dragon Age title. Uh, each one has its own passionate, rabid fan base. So I'm sure that they're going to be looking forward to seeing us unbox some cool toys. Yeah, they're going to be looking forward to us not knowing who anybody is in any of these boxes, because unfortunately <laughs> I really don't know any of them. But, I mean, yeah, they're, they're really cool looking characters. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this actually a lot, because they're I, I, I really like awesome looking ones. They look really cool. I like this kind of fantasy medieval type game. I, I'm a big fan of Skyrim. I love Skyrim. Um, and like I said, I just started getting into Dragon Age. I just started learning about what it is, and I'm a fan of it. So. At some point, I will play it. It's just, I don't have enough time of the day, so guys, That's what congrats to forgive me, but we're gonna, we're gonna work our way through this. <laughs> That's it. I mean, based on some of the box art on the side, there's definitely some cool-looking sculpts that I'm looking forward to, to seeing well, once we start going through the box. I mean, really, the main thing about this is being a minifigure collector. These just look really unique, really cool. Yep. Um, and again, I just like fantasy. I mean, I just... I've been getting a whole bunch of, bunch of Mythic Legion toys. It's really hard to say a bunch of Mythic Legions. That, that does not go together. <laughs> no, definitely not. It's a tough phrase to say, but I'm a big fan of the genre, so I'm looking forward to trying these guys out. Um, and yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun butchering the names and trying to figure out who these people are. So <laughs> That's it. That's, uh, that's part of the fun. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just go right into this guy. And again, uh, another cool thing about these Titan boxes, since we got a whole box here, is every stand is kind of unique, so it's a little hard to put this together. Right now, oh, we did it. All right, Look at that. So, one and done. Yeah, nice job, me. So yeah, I just I really like how every one of them is die cut differently. Yep, definitely so, like that. That's it's a good cool. way, and it's a good way to dis to display them. Also, if you're a if you're a retailer, so uh, nice way to do it. It reminds me of the old uh, Marvel cards when you used to buy the Marvel cards. Yes. They used to pop out the Spidey or or the main character, and it would fold out like that. So that's really cool, and it's nice to see that being brought back. I actually got one of those boxes not too long ago. Really. It's this, uh, this little supermarket store, kind of card store thing, closing out. A little bodega, I guess you could say, a little bodega. They were closing it, about to sell it to new owner. And one day, out of nowhere, he has like boxes of Marvel and DC cards. Wow. And I bought a whole box. Greatest purchase ever. Maybe we'll do that one day on camera. We'll see, because I kind of like hoarding it right now in box. But I did a, that box is so cool. I had, I had to keep it just because of that die cut. Yeah, I mean, I think it was five or six years ago, I had something similar happen when they were doing the G.I. Joe cards. Yeah, those are great cards. Oh, man. We're so old. <laughs> Yeah. And we're not talking about Dragon Age yet. Are you disappointed yet? Are you still All right. watching? All right, let's do let's, this. Let's, let's do it. Let's let's make sure we actually talk about Dragon Age while we're here. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, here's box number one. Thank That's you, sir. That's nifty looking dude on the back. And that is uh, Arishnor. Yep. We're already screwed up the name. No, it's Arishor. Uh, hopefully we're saying it right. Arishok. You got, what do you got there? I got Arishok. Okay, yeah. I butchered the name on the first try. This is going to be the worst unboxing ever in the history of unboxing videos. <laughs> It's all good though. We got 16 figures to try and grab and four chase variants. So, Definitely want that Flameth dragon. Yes, that's the one we're gonna be fighting over. <laughs> Can already tell. Kind of like the Warhound. Yeah, the Warhound is dope. And even the Arrow Shock looks pretty cool. He reminds me of the um, uh, the the ice creatures that Loki's supposed to be. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay. The name escapes me at the moment. Another non Dragon Age reference. Yeah, this video. <laughs> All right, so let's, case, let's do this, yeah. Let's see what we got. Our journey to see if we can convert Rich into a Titan merchandise lover as less of a Funko fan. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it might be better on my wallet, too. Yeah. Let's see, all right. Oh, look wow. at this, dude. Okay, we're off to a good start, and that's a variant, right? Yep. What, what is with you? You're, yeah. getting, you're getting the one of 40s every time. That's a one of 40. Yeah, that's that the is, Alistair. Is that Anders? No, Alistair. That's a... Wow, so literally, first box again, second unboxing video we do, he gets one of the rarest ones first try. He's having a rough day. He, he, uh... <laughs> Check that out, guys. He just really likes Raspberry Pi. Yeah, he's having a, he's having, what he's having a day. <laughs> just won the pie eating contest, that's obviously what happened. That's Basically, it. we don't know the lore of this game, so we're just going to make it up as we go with these toys. That's it. Sometimes that's, that's part of the fun, making it up like when you were a kid. So, Alistair just had a really fun time at the pie eating contest. He definitely did, and he's, uh... A little beat up, that's for sure. 
And so did his buddy Anders, because I got the other variant, 1 of 40, it looks oh, like. And he man. can some yummy blueberry pie. <laughs> yep. That is like delicious looking blueberry pie. <laughs> So these guys really like pie. Apparently this game is about pie. <laughs> I like that his eyes are all white, which is cool. That's pretty That's pretty crazy that we got both out of the gate. I apologize to any fans of Dragon Age. You must hate us so much right now. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they'll let us know in the comments. It is YouTube. Uh, I'm yeah, afraid there's comments on this video now. <laughs> no, no. Don't turn them on. Yeah, this will be the greatest thing ever, so... These two buddies having just a really good day eating pie contest things That's it. and you know checking things out, having fun at the fair together. Maybe after this they'll ride some rides, get a churro. That's it. Maybe they're that may be the way to go. They're gonna live the life. But <laughs> all right, let's do our patented box play. That's it. Out of here. Let's continue our story of Dragon Age, because Lord only knows what really happens That's in the game. That's it. Well, I like clearly, clearly, clearly like dragons. I like how they're now kind of like holding hands almost, so you come down. Clearly, clearly dragons are involved. <laughs> what these dragons do? I don't know. Apparently, maybe they maybe they organize the fair. I think that's that's it. Do. Maybe they're very business savvy dragons. Oh shit! I got something cool too. I don't know what it is, but I like what I'm feeling. It feels something. It's got a tail, maybe. Yep. I wonder if we got the same one here. Let's. I'm, I'm gonna feel yours. You feel mine? <laughs> there you go. The double entendres, ladies I and gentlemen. I think we may have gotten. Same one. That's, That's pretty funny. Let's just look straight bags. So That's it. All right. Three, three two, one. Please, three, two, three. One. I lost the catch. <laughs> Fuck it. That's the same thing. <laughs> That's it. We both got the dragon. We got the dragon. <laughs> He's got battle damage though, he has a wing that's missing. Does, is he? Oh, okay, uh, so that's probably in the bag. Yep. We saw that happen last time with uh, the Joker figure from Mass Effect. Yeah, Luckily, his... Luckily Rich Command handled these back in. Uh, a little bit. I think this one's going to be one that may require a little glue. But in reality, that was actually one I had, so now you're stuck with the Broken Dragon. That's it, I'm stuck with the Broken Dragon. Well, that's just so... part of his charm, that's part of his story, obviously. That's it. Battle damage. Yeah, I mean, this, this dragon, they're brothers also, and they organized the county fair where Alistair and Anders eat their pie. That's it. And, uh, yeah. They had a dragon wing eating contest. He lost, clearly. Ouch. <laughs> but these, okay, so I'm glad we got these off the bat really early because they are really, really nice, though. So. Yeah, the detailing is tremendous. They did great work on it. Um, definitely, if you are picking these up, be careful squeezing the packaging because that the, the wings are definitely extremely sensitive. That is disappointing that we got one that's busted and, and busted to that extent. Uh, so that does Also, the color on the box looks black and not Yeah, white. so I think we're having a little little trend here with these figures is that uh, what you see in the box is not necessarily what you're going to get. Right. But again, these guys, I mean, I actually have to say, looking at the picture versus what we're actually getting, I mean, I kind of like them better out of box. Yeah, I think so too. Gives us a clearer picture, and the detailing is tremendous. That's okay. right. Again, the trend continues. So, all right, so we're doing good here so far. We're, we're having a great county fair here at Dragon Age. So, Rich, you guys cover a lot of video game stuff on the site as well, right? What are yes, some sir. of the shows? We, we talked last episode about Variant Issue, Pre and Death, which is the comic show that you do on your show, on your network of podcasts. So, what are some other shows you guys have? Uh, we have a... Uh, wrestling podcast that we also just launched, which is Turnbuckle Tabloid, uh, hosted by uh, my colleague Jay Santi, who also does the regular season sportscast. And Jay Santi, much like me, longtime wrestling fans. And what ended up happening was, as he realized that he was doing the regular season sportscast, he was like, there was a lot more wrestling because, you know, you can talk about the NFL and MLB so much. And wrestling then, never ends. Yeah, wrestling, exactly. Wrestling has no off season. So, after we wrapped up episode 400 of MTR, I called him up and I was like, listen, man, why don't you just put together, take the wrestling segment and make that a show, you know, something short, and that way you can just hone in on it. So uh, from that came Turnbuckle Tabloid, and um, he's on his second episode, and again, well-received, people like it. He actually opened it up with a really good interview with Amazing Red, who wrestled nice. in TNA. I'm a big fan of Amazing Red. He's yeah. One of, when I first got into the whole indie wrestling scene, he's one of the first guys that I really got into, and he's he's a local guy too from uh, Queens, isn't he? Yep, he's a local guy. His school, um, House of Glory, is in Brooklyn. Nice. And they do shows here in Queens, as a matter of fact, in uh, the NYC arena. And we've now gone ten minutes without really talking much about Dragon Age. So <laughs> way to go. Box toss. This box deserves toss. A, this deserves a box toss. That's it. Thank Let's you, sir. See this as we hit our second row. We got a whole bunch more of these to go. Had good luck so far, I would say, but still early in the game in the county fair of Dragon Age. That's it. Dragon Age local county fair. 
That's all right. So let's, I'm gonna give this one a feel and see what I got here. This feels really stubby. I don't. I don't know what this one is. This oh. is an interesting feeling. I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm feeling, but it's. It's gonna probably be some basic human, but no, it feels pretty interesting. I don't know. I mean, you, you give this one a feel there, Rich. Right? It feels. Is it the hound? You think? I think it might be the hound. The hound. I think. Let's see. I got. Oh that wow! Fucking no. dope. Oop. Language, ladies and gentlemen, language. <laughs> This is an wow. awesome, awesome, awesome design. That is Flemeth. And, Flemeth. and of course, the Flemeth Dragon. Wow, this is... So if she's obviously their accountant. <laughs> That's it. Or their handler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the handler. She's the PR person. She's yeah. the PR rep for the uh, Dragon Age County Fair. This is this one's really dope. Nice work, Titan. Yeah. Well, I like this. We both just said wow for that one. So, I mean, that's... Yep. That's, that's, that's really one. dope. She's a little top heavy though, because of the horns. So yeah, you can just hold her up. Yeah, I'll hold her up. For a second there you go, so you guys can check it out. Oh, there we go. Really nice detailing. Again, not knowing much about Dragon Age. That's just a nice minifigure. Yep, definitely is. Reminds me of a character, like a character out of Willow. Yeah. Yep. Hey, this is just the perfect genre. Yep. You know, if you don't need to be too familiar with it, that is kind of the nice thing is we don't know anything about this game really, but I'm loving it so far. I mean, these are these are nice figures. All right, let's see who you got, right, bro. So let's see if you got. I got the steroid hound. That's it. <laughs> I got roid dog. That's it. Oh man, he definitely is. He's, he's like a little pit bull. That's he's like a pit bull and a bear. This is Seriously. their child. This is a pit bull. So he's part of the freak show at the county fair. Pit bull bear child. <laughs> definitely is. Color scheme is nice though. It's a very unique design. I mean, it's 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 weird to an extent because of how stubby he is. But I I'm really digging the colors. I'm really digging the paint. I'm digging the body. It's it's a weird creature, but fits in. It is kind of weird that he's the same size as the dragons, but that's what can you really do? <laughs> <laughs> I th I think that the, that if they were a little bigger, the dragons would be given away on every box. It's like yeah, it's like half the box is a, is a single dragon. That's it. All right. All right. So that's our that's our puppy. Out of here. Next up. All right, let's do this. I feel like we're taking shots every time we do this. Just That's like, it. Open Shoot. the box. Done. <laughs> Nailed it. Flip it. Flip it over and hope yeah. for the best. Oh. All right. This is. This is like another humanoid of some kind. This is like a bit of a like a large figure. Let's see. You got a large figure. What could that be? Maybe you got a big baddie. Wow. There he is. Is that, our, is that our big bit? Yep, Arashok. It was pretty much on these boxes. Look wow. at that. Another one with really cool detail. It looks a lot cooler again, uh, seeing it like this form. It's, I guess it's a little bit because of the, uh, the foreshortening on the package of the character. Right. But seeing him out of the box, much cooler. Definitely. Really nice work. The horns are just the best part of that, really. But the face is cool, too. I mean, yeah, I like cool, the face. The horns are a nice touch. And it, it is balanced pretty decently, considering that it's... It's top heavy and it's backwards top heavy, which is yep. weird, but it's balancing, which is cool. I mean, let's. I almost would would one would like to think that his face would glow. I don't know why. Like he would look like a character with a glowing face. He does. That'd be, that'd be actually a pretty cool variant of his face glowed. Let's. Uh... It also reminds me of Vigo from Ghostbusters. Oh yeah. Well, we got Ghostbusters too, so you know, <laughs> there's a Vigo figure out there. Maybe That's they just it. recycled the sculpt. Uh... <laughs> so I got. I think this is the other uh, Anders. Yep, that might be the other Anders actually. This is Anders. Let me let me double check this. No, this is Varric. I got I got myself Varric. That's Varric. It's not Anders. You're no, wrong. Stop being wrong. That's it. I'll be I'll, I'll be wrong because I said it too. So yeah, it's always weird because you go from these really cool fantasy characters to the humans, and yep. it's just like eh. But no, this is actually really cool. I'm digging that little ponytail in the back there. Yep. He kind of looks like uh, he's been he's seen some action. He got into yeah, a fight online, does. waited for the bathroom at the fair. Perhaps he did. He looks like he's probably one of the carnies, actually. He's got that earring, so he must be a carny. That's obviously what he is. He might be. He might be one of the carnies, definitely. Might be running the uh, the shell game. <laughs> oh, it's fun opening toys that you have no idea what they actually are about. You know what's weird? It, it, you keep checking for accessories. And it's not yeah, like, you would think they'd have, like, swords and, and stuff. Nothing so far. Yeah, not even any, like, ice cream cones. No, or ice cream cones. Odd no. trinkets that you win with those, like... Funnel cake. Oh, funnel cake would be a nice accessory, yeah. That's it. Toss. All right. Okay, so we're now at the halfway point. 
So, Rich, we talked last time on the show uh, when we did the Mass Effect figures about you've been in this business for over 10 years now. Yeah. So, how do you last 10 years? What is the key to longevity? What would you say? Because, again, this is a business that keeps people up for. People just don't get motivated. They lose that motivation. They give up maybe a year into it, even if not less. So, you kept it up for a over a decade. I think that people walk into this kind of stuff with the expectation that they're going to get rich quick or that they're going to automatically make it. And the thing is that it, it all boils down to just consistency. It's not a, it's not a race, you know, it's a brisk walk. And um, I think that's been a big part of it. You know, you take, you take solace in all the little victories and then you use that as momentum to keep moving forward. But if you don't stop and say, oh, man, I, I got to do this or I got to do this that I never would have done before, you're going to get you're going to lose motivation. So that's been a big thing for us. Small victories, little things, you know, first 10 downloads here, X amount of subscribers there. It feels good. And it seems like Rageworks especially has been kind of a growing entity, if you will. It's really changed over the years. It's expanded. You've added a whole network of podcasts now onto the show. So it's not just you doing one thing. And now it's a bunch no. of different people doing things. Nope. So it's really been the fact that you've been willing to take risks. I think that's an important thing for anybody that wants to do this kind of thing is, you have to be willing to take the risks, do things differently, see what works, like you said, trial and error. Yep. And also work. find people that believe and share the same motivations that you do. Like, you know, you and I get along because we like the same stuff. We're, we're, we're on the grind. We're trying to grow our brands. And that's what it is. Like, if you if people that you're surrounding yourself with don't share those interests, you're not, you're not going to feel motivated. Yep. That's how I see it. It's very good. Good lesson learned there for anybody out there that's doing this too, that's watching us. Because, yeah, anybody can do these unboxing videos. It doesn't take much. So it right. takes hard work and be willing to do it. Do it again and again and again. Hard work and for anybody who's ever concerned about, you know, barrier of entry, you you have the most potent piece of technology in your pocket, and that's your phone. So you don't need, you know, we have two cameras here today, but really, you've got cell phone camera. Those things are pretty decent these days. So, yeah, Damn go ahead right. and get on with it. So, all right, I've got myself. Oh, this time it doesn't have pie face, though. Nope, neither this is mine. Oh, so we both we, got the same one. We got, we got our dupes. We got our... Our first set of dupes. Well, second set of dupes. We got, we got the, the double dragons. Oh, we got double ah, dragons. Oh, yeah. We did get double dragons. We didn't even make that reference to piss off our fans. That's it. Oh, Damn. my God. Missed opportunity. Double dragon. But, yeah. all we right. We got dupes. We got Anders dupes. Yeah, Anders and Anders Incorporated. That's it. So, they're cool, but, you know. Humans. They're humans. <laughs> so, it's like, it's like oh, we want more dragons. <laughs> That's it. We want more dragons, hounds, demons, people with horns. And we're halfway through the box. We haven't even gotten any of the, uh, really, the, the elves yet. Yep, definitely have not. We haven't gotten Morrigan, the Grey Warden. Those are the two I actually would like to get is the, the Warden, the Grey Warden there, and Morrigan. But we haven't gotten those yet, but we're halfway through. We still have a shot. Let's do it. All right, one for you, one for me. I feel so bad for anybody out there that really is a fan of Dragon Age and just so disappointed in us that we don't know anything about this. <laughs> I mean, at least you guys get to see the toys, so, you know, you didn't have to spend the money on them like we did. That's it. You guys... It, you get it, to reap the benefits of our stupidity. Come for the banter, stay for the toys. And... Oh, all right, good. I, I, uh, I'm very happy to say I just got my... Isabella. And Fenris. So we, again, it's, like, it's just like last time. I think we, we were, like, complaining about we're missing the line, and all of a sudden we get... Yep, all of a sudden we start faring quite well. Let's put these guys next to each other. Yep, so you guys can get a good look. So Isabella definitely looks like a carny as well. Probably, probably definitely. like a pirate in the game, but I don't know. We're just going to say she's carny. Or a fortune teller. And to me, Fenris just looks like a mark. Yep. <laughs> He's just about to get scammed by her. Yep, definitely does. He, she, she looks like a fortune teller, and he looks like a dude that's definitely ready to be duped. Yes. He, he's <laughs> just like, you're so pretty, girl. I'll give me my money. That's it. And she's just like, yeah, that's right. You're going to give me my money. Paint job is nice on his though for the for the face paint. They did a good job. The, you know, a lot of times when they do face paint and you're mass producing them, you always worry about imperfections. But pretty nice, even everything's consistent. I mean, we had a broken wing, but other than that, I mean, still quality wise. You know, yep. it's like something we haven't really talked about is the paint job. There's not really much of, of slop issues. I mean, I'm looking no, at you. No, definitely not. I have a little bit of a schmutz there, but it's it's you know not the worst. And we've got. How many of these so far between the Mass Effect and everything else we've done, all the other lines we've reviewed so far? Right. Not not really any paint issues at all. There's nope. really no sloppiness, no excess, no scratches, no weird things. So No nope. no smushed heads considering. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that, that that is a thing that can happen is. with I've, blind boxes. I've had that happen, so yeah. <laughs> so nice work. Definitely good work from, from Titan on this too. All right, toss time. That was a loud one. What was, what was, what did we just, did we kill somebody? I don't even know, there? somebody died. I gotta bury the body after we're done. All right. So we're missing now. Still no Grey Warden. Still no Morrigan. And uh, 
We're missing a few of the variants. But we haven't, we haven't gotten Leilana yet either. No, definitely not. And it's crazy, because again, it's like we, we got the super duper rares right away, and now we're struggling to find the rest of the line. But yep, that's what's happening. We'll see what we got. So I got something that feels, uh, feels like I got some, I wonder if we got another Isabella. Feels like I might have gotten another Isabella already. Mm. No, I got something different. What did you, oh, I think, well, what do you know? We got we're twinsies both. again. That's it, Liliana got got it, and she actually has a weapon. Yes, I got that too. I, did, I didn't throw it away like last time. That's it. I you, guess it's supposed to be a bow. You don't know what we mean by that? You need to watch your mass spec and see how bad we screwed up. <laughs> so yeah, all right, we got ourselves two Leilanas. <laughs> it's like it's like we, we summoned the Titan gods and they've delivered. So she has a nice bow and arrow. Yeah, definitely with the with the sculpt on the on looks like her hood. Definitely limited range for the uh, for the hand movement, but aside from that. Nice work, and the accessory definitely adds yes. to this figure. So nice to see them include one. Yeah, I do agree. The hood, uh, as you can see, it does cut down articulation. Uh, it's pretty obvious that it does. Yes. I mean, take a look at that again. You know, we can not do it much, unfortunately. She's not able to really do much with that arm. Not much nope. with this arm either. Definitely, this one. This arm is pretty much a non-factor unless you plan on moving it backwards. And the head doesn't move either. So that's, nope. But I mean, the question is, are you going to really play with these that much? Not no. really. They're meant for display more than anything else. So absolutely. Not as big of a worry. So those are nice though, man. We got two of them. So what do you think? And know? it's good that they had the weapon. Like I said, the weapon the weapon plays, the weapon adds to the figure. And the accessories are always nice. It's always, especially like getting minifigures that have accessories because they just look so nice in that scale. Yep. And in the style that Titans does too, it works really nicely. And I also feel that it's it, it's indicative of the genre of the game and it's a nice little extra perk. Alright, well we got a few more and right. maybe we'll get some, some more, cool accessories. Some more weapons. As we get close to the end here, let's hope we can complete the set. That would be nice. We that, that would again. be good. We did it with Mass Effect. We did indeed. And we do it again with 20 figures. 20 boxes. Will they all be the full set or will we get more dupes of the Fighting Contest Brothers? That's it. What do we got? What do we got? Someone that has a cool accessory. I got a cool accessory too. Did we get the same figure? What is going on today? Oh, look at that. All right, let's, let's get these and ladies out of the way. Yep. It's and Morgan. We got two. So we, we both got Morgans. I don't know how this happened, but they were side by side. They're having a staring contest now, and it's really creepy because of how our pupils are. So you're gonna yeah, see the, way, the, way, the way the pupils are set up is definitely a creepy figure. And she does have an accessory. This yep. nice little blue fireball thing. Yep. Or maybe it's a blue snow cone. Blue snow cone, blue snow cone works. She's operating a snow cone booth, but she just broke up with her boyfriend, so she's a little angry today. Having a rough day. That explains rough go the stare. But the fireball, they did a good job for posability's sake. Yeah. yeah look at that. that and looks, the, that's cool. That's actually a smart way they did that fireball too. I'm yep. impressed by that. And the, the the accessory doesn't weigh the figure down and make it fall over, which is good. And you can do that too. So you can make it look like she's shooting the fireball or holding the fireball up, which is a nice nice touch. And, you know, we were just talking about it before in the last video, you were a big fan of Akuma. Would you like to see Titan do Street Fighter toys? I mean, we're seeing a lot of Street Fighter these days at Super 7. Yes, and... I definitely I definitely would like to see uh, something like this for, for Street Fighter, given the variety of characters and the the unlimited amount of, of color combinations you can do, which oh, are yeah. their own variations, plus all the costume changes. I think, I think that would be cool. And we're seeing the loyal subjects. They're going to be coming out with those very soon as well, which will have all those color variants. Which right. It's crazy. And again, Super 7 doing the muscle style minifigures. That's right, because um, they picked up the, the muscle license. But yeah, I, I think that'd be really cool to see Titans do it. Like, chances are we're not going to see it because so many other guys are doing it. But, uh, you know, seeing how they do this fireball, that kind of just first thing came to mind. Yep. And I got to say, even in that case, you know, variety, variety helps. Sometimes two different companies doing the same franchise may some may just excel better than the other. I mean, we've seen yeah. that with, with other figures when companies, they lose the license and then another company picks them up and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, I, I should have bought these. And You never know. Yep. Well, we got a box to play. That's it, box toss time. Out of here. Down to the final four. We have to finish this line. We have to. That's it. We're going to. And the box just collapsed on us. That is just depressing. <laughs> That was just a depressing box collapse. The box committed suicide. My box, why? All right, let's see if we can wrap things up here. All right. 
been getting a lot of du duplicates at the same time. We are. Which is bizarre. That maybe packets like that, but it's so random, you never know. Yep. Oh, we got uh -oh. a sword. I see a sword. Do you get the Grey Warden? Ah, uh, no, unfortunately not. We huh. got a... Huh. So you had a sword. Did we not, Did we miss no. the sword? The oh, well, speaking of him, I got the Grey Warden. So I got nice. him now. And he has a nice sword, too. It's like a Conan the Barbarian kind of sword. Yeah, that sword is pretty dope. Yeah, I don't... Uh... Let's see if we can get it out of the box. Yeah, there's out of there. So did, we'll have to check our boxes again. That I... Did no, you, we didn't, no, I didn't yeah. see any. So we may have lost. Maybe that may be. Maybe that may be the the get the gimmick. It may be that some have the sword, the accessories, some don't. Well, is that a variant? There's no variant of him, is there? Uh, uh, yes, Alistair? there is a variant. Oh, there is a variant. So that's a different one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's an. Let's compare. Yeah, because yeah. you got pie face. He had no. Yeah, pie face. So that's plain. Yep. Ah, so all right. There so plain is. has a sword, and Grey Warden. He this guy looks cool. He looks kind of like a Dark Souls character here. Yep. Another non Dragon Age reference for this video. It's all good. That's a cool design. That though. is a nice looking figure. I, I really dig the helmet. Now I want to see Time to do Dark Souls figures because looking at that, it's just such a cool looking thing. Absolutely. The sword man. is really cool. Yep. Definitely a nice touch. Let's get. There you go. Get Alistair there. So I'm guessing that is probably the. Uh, that's the basic version. Okay, so yeah, that's the basic. Yep. So it's weird that that one comes with the sword and the one doesn't, but. Obviously, we didn't play the game, so we have no idea why. That's it. Things that make you go, hmm. But a really nice figure regardless. And we're down to our final... Yep. Toss time. Penultimate box toss. That one just came right on top. That was the worst throw I've ever done. Ah, oh, man. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... There you go. I made up for it by smashing your wall. That's okay. So last one. We have, I think, almost completed the line. We're missing Morgan. I believe that's all we're missing. Uh, no, we got, we got Morgan here. Did we get Morgan? Yep. Yeah. Oh, duh, all right, yeah. So then we have completed the set. We just need to get some variants, which I don't know if we're gonna get, but I think we got, we're missing the Morgan variant. Yep. And we're missing the Leilani, uh, Leilana variant. Yep. And I think that would be it, so. But we got a complete set out of the deal. So uh, that's two for two now with these unboxing is done rich where we'll be able to complete the set by buying the full box. So that's it. I've, and I can tell you from experience, I've bought Steam Universe Funko figures and I've bought easily two or three boxes worth of those and I didn't complete the set. Holy cow. Yeah. So, oh, you got, looks like you just got a, a dupe, and I did too. So we finished with the dupe bros. A little, a little uh, Grey Warden action. Got another girl here. You can play my Grey Warden. I'll play with uh, the Alistair. Yeah, let's see who's in this one. It might be the Alistair. It looks like the same one, right? Yep, yep, same Alistair. So two Alistairs, two Grey Wardens to close this out. Yeah, but it's actually a cool figure. I kind of like the Grey Warden. He's a nice little army builder. Yeah, it's definitely. Figure. And speaking of articulation with Leilana, we talked about how that hood was kind of in her way. A little bit of an issue again with the Grey Warden, but not as dramatic. Nope, uh, definitely not. Not not nearly as bad there. So these guys can will have a sword fighting contest. That's it. Mm. That's yeah. it. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> nice work. So that, oh, we, were, we, were, we were both jonesing to get to, for the, to see what the Grey Warden looked like, and we both we both got it. So it worked out well. You got the Grey Wardens. These look really nice. Um, really cool overall. Again, uh, you know. The hardest part is when you get these lines that have really cool alien figures. Is that having the human figures? But yep. they're they're not dull compared to them. They're just yeah, they're just humans. But that's it. Still very very cool stuff. Nice sculpts in all of them. The dragons were cool. Uh, steroid dog is a little weird. Steroid dog definitely a little creepy. <laughs> but uh, overall, really really nice line. I'm digging the gray wardens that we just got. Um, I like the pie face bros. Yep, definitely like those. Um, Arashok is very cool. Yeah, definitely very cool. Ferris is cool. Uh, Flemeth, excuse me, is uh, very cool. So they did a they did a good job with with the sculpts on those. I think that the the the, the large the quote unquote larger of the figures definitely they went all out for. So yes. props props to Titan for that. So overall very strong. I mean the one thing we did say that we wanted was more accessories, um, which is surprising that something like this doesn't have as many accessories. But then again, you look at Mass Effect and not everybody had accessories either with that. No, so it's I not mean, like it's it's a big thing, I guess. But for a medieval fantasy kind of thing, it'd be cool to have it. Yeah, I think I think that's one of those situations where accessories are important because that was you know everybody had a sword or a mace or, or something. So yeah. I think that's definitely something that was crucial. But it didn't detract too much from the from the collection because, like I said, the the paint jobs and the sculpts were tremendous. And to be fair, most minifigures don't even have accessories. I mean, again, come back to those Funko ones. Damn right. None of those have accessories. Nope. And when they do, they're stationary. Yeah, they're already in the hand. They're stuck yep. in there. These you can actually interchange, which is cool. So, you know, Grey Warden can have a fireball if you want, or he can take uh, Garrus's 
laser gun or whatever he wants to do. That's it, or hold two swords and dual wield. Oh, oh my. There you go. <laughs> Talking my language. All right. So this is Dragon Age, the County Fair toys from Titan Merchandise. Uh, <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry we don't know more about this, uh, this game. We tried our best. We failed. But I hope you're at least entertained by our stupidity. That's it. Because there sure was a lot of that. That's it. Come for the toys and stay for the banter. That's a nice way of putting what we say. Okay, so... <laughs> One last box toss. One, our, our final box toss. That's it. We're out of here. So, Rich from Rageworks, as we start to plug your website one more time, uh, are you now a convert to Titan merchandise, would you say? I definitely think that I would pick some up, depending on the licenses that were picked up. Uh, I think that they would be welcome additions to a desk. I mean, my desk usually has little tchotchkes and little figures, and uh, these are good because they're not obtrusive. They don't take up too much space. and. I think that it's going to be one of those things for me personally where if I if I started collecting, I would amass them quickly. That is what happens with these guys. And they're basically usually around the same price as a uh, Funko mystery figure. Right. Sometimes I find a little bit more. Um, usually you see them in Hot Topics. And I, I don't quite remember off the top of my head right now for some reason if they're at Toys R Us, but I think you can find them. Yeah, Hot Topics do. Hot Topics definitely has them. They get exclusives. Yep. And also, you know, check some of your local comic specialty shops. Like Newberry okay. Comics yeah, over Newberry. here, which you can do a lot of work with on Rageworks. Yep. New Newberry might might be good for that, but also um, check your local game stores, considering that they are uh, tie-ins to some of your games, your local game stops, and you might be able to pick up your very own figures as well. Very cool overall. So that's Dragon Age. Rich, plug the uh, the website for yourself one more time. Uh, that our site is RageWorks.net. You can find us on social media: Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Like I said. Uh, in the previous video is one of the places where we try to build the most because we only have we have a Facebook fan page but also we have a Rageworks group for us to interact with the readers and listeners as well. And that's important that you guys do interact. I mean, a lot of the shows you do are live, so yes. you actually can interact in real time and you're not just ignoring these people. You will have conversations with guys in the chats. I can attest to that because I've been one of those guys. So. Absolutely. I try I try to interact with every, I you know, I try to reach one, teach one. That's how I see it. Oh, fancy. That's it. <laughs> Rhymed. All right. So, that's Dragon Age from Titan Merchandise, Titan Vinyls. Another box is completed. I, I want to like toss the box, but I feel like that's going to make a giant that's mess. That, so we're not going to do that. a bunch of stuff. <laughs> that'll break everything here. But Rich, thank you again for doing this with us, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the Dragon Age County Fair. Oh, yeah, man. It was a blast. Thank you once again for including us in this. We really appreciate it. All right. We'll see you guys next time with All some right. more unboxing. Peace.